Auto Line at CES is brought to you by ETAS, Gentex, Intrepid Control Systems, Magna, and by Yazaki Innovations. Charles Chappelle does a lot of hydrogen work at Fervia, and these are the normal tanks we normally see, right? You take it from there. Absolutely. So this is a good example of what's in current production. So we make this system at our facility in Alenchois, France. This goes in a light commercial vehicle, and this is a, um, I would say, a classic type four hydrogen storage tank. So it's a thermoplastic liner, and then we overwrap that with carbon fiber. And this one also has a coating on the outside uh, for fire protection. So this is kind of the, the current state of the art. And what I always tell people is that hydrogen's happening now, right? We make this in production. We're making over 10,000 of these a year uh, currently. But in order to really get to the situation where we can put this in almost every vehicle, we're making a lot of strides, right, for, for what's next. And if you look at this particular system, you can see there's a lot of space in here, right, that we're not using uh, to store hydrogen. So one of the big things that we're working on is what's called a conformable hydrogen tank. And so maybe we can walk over here and I can show you a little bit more about that. So what you see underneath here is what we call our, our conformable hydrogen tank. And basically what we've done is we've taken the package space that you have for a battery on a vehicle. And what we can do is we can design a hydrogen storage tank that fits right into that same space. So it gives the OEMs a lot of flexibility in terms of what it is that they can do. So they can have essentially the same platform and have a BEV variant of it or have a fuel cell variant of that very same vehicle. In addition to that, what, what it allows us to do is put more hydrogen on the vehicle than what we could in the past. So as you saw in the system over there, there's a lot of unused space. And this is a complete package that fits exactly into the, to the underbody space that you have available. So, it, you know, it allows us to get somewhere between 30 and 50% more hydrogen on the vehicle in exactly the same space. And, and this is coming very soon. So we're working on this uh, uh, in earnest and we expect it to be, to be launching in the near future. Now this is incredible because it, you know, there's this, this white spot here, but this is a, a full tank behind here, yes. right? And I understand there's some black magic inside that tank, too, that allows you to do a, a rectangular tank. Yeah, well, I, I prefer to call it engineering, right? There's good solid I know, but, engineering. But, I, but you're protecting that right now. You're not talking about it. Yeah, we can't because uh, we're still working on our patents. Right? That, that's um, why I call it black magic. Okay. Yeah, but you're right. It's engineering. But, but you can imagine this, this thing operates at 700 bar, which is just over 10,000 PSI. So there's a tremendous amount of pressure inside of these tanks in order to get the right level of, of hydrogen storage. And so we do have to have some structural elements inside of that tank. So as soon as you go to a, to a flat section, right, the, the stress that you have with 10,000 PSI inside that tank is trying to pull it apart. So there's certainly components inside here that are holding it together. But the great thing is it is a single cavity on the inside. And that also allows us to reduce costs. So this technology is actually lower cost than what you saw over there because of the fact that we only need one tank valve uh, for safety because this is a single volume. So it's, it's higher package density, lower cost, and flexibility in terms of package space. So it's, it's really great. You said something like this is coming. Can you tell us more or less when? Um, so the SOP is, is TBD right now. We are working with a couple of OEMs uh, on co-developments. Um, and because they won't allow, allow me to, to say exactly when it's coming, I, I'm not allowed But it's to. not 10 years away. No, no, no. Absolutely not 10 years away. Well, good. Charles, thanks so much. Very interesting. You're welcome.